Today we are testing out Covert Go Blues version of the Hinata deck. Let's see how it goes. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. This is the first time I'm recording in like a week because I just got back from my conference uh, and I'm heading out again in a few days. So I'm going to do the best I can to keep up to date on everything. But do keep in mind, if we miss a day or two next week, I am actually on vacation for my honeymoon uh, and I'm going to be enjoying it. So sorry about it, but I don't really care. I'm just going to enjoy the vacation. But Guys, I do want to want to jump into a really awesome deck today. This is Covert Go Blue's Azorius Hinata deck. Uh, now, I know Hinata naturally is Jeskai or American or however you want to say it, but uh, this is mostly an Azorius deck. It does feature, of course, Hinata as well as the Magma Opus, both of which are really good cards Like for this deck specifically. Obviously, you have to have Hinata, uh, and Magma Opus really gets better with the Hinata. So, uh, yes, those cards are red, but everything else is azorius uh and this deck is sick uh i've been testing it just a little bit uh before the uh the recording here and it just works so cleanly uh most of the deck is instant speed as you'll notice uh including one of our major threats which is the wandering emperor so being able to flash this out activated on the opponent's turn really gives you some choices you can kind of leave stuff up uh, and choose when and where you want to pick your battles. Uh, we do have a lot of disruption as well in the two drop slots. So uh, test of talents and negate looking to get rid of some of the non-creature stuff. Uh, Jwari disruption. If, a, if you get a well-timed Jwari disruption, great. This is a card that's like okay in my opinion it's not one of my favorites but uh it does really work uh every once in a while and that's when you really need it uh it also does of course just smooth out your land drops which is great uh disdainful stroke for those bigger spells and then of course valorous stance to destroy anything that's really really big and scary on the field that you just can't deal with any other way uh now we do also have march of the otherworldly light this is going to exile some things to our art artifact creature or enchantment with mana value x or less uh, works pretty well against a lot of decks because uh, so many things are kind of low value cards right now, but you can get rid of things like wedding announcements, you can get rid of any of the, uh, the leveled up enchantments, you can do a lot of different stuff with this, so very, very good. Uh, and then a March of the Swirling Mist, which in this deck, if you have Hinata out, this is one blue for exile, or excuse me, to, to phase out as many creatures as you want, <laughs> uh, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, I really do love this card. I think it's awesome. Uh, we do have Celestis to help smooth out mana as well as kind of get those, those loots as well as some uh, life game. Memory Deluge to eventually refill the hand. Uh, again, because we can play at instant speed most of the time, uh, it's actually really nice because we just leave stuff up. And if you get a well-timed memory deluge, great. Uh, if not, you'll probably have something else to do. Uh, Doomscar, of course, is in here as the full four. We're not a very heavy creature deck. Hinata is our big creature, uh, as well as the two twos from the Wandering Emperor. Uh, and then, of course, Magma Opus as well, like I mentioned. This is just a ridiculously good card. Uh, we do have some uh, tech in the land slot, so we've got the Seed of the Empire. This actually is really, really good in this deck because you can cheapen it up, but uh, essentially it just um, is four damage to something uh, that's attacking or blocking. Hall of the Storm Giants, the Soaring City, uh, and I think that's it. Yes. Okay, so everything else is just colored lands to help you get to where you need to go. So. This is going to be an awesome one, guys. I've played Hinata before, but this is a new one. And again, I want to thank Covert Go Blue uh, for sharing this list. I actually found it on MTG Arena Zone uh, and really, really fell in love with it right away. So, guys, let's go ahead. Let's jump right into the games. Let's have some fun with this one. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. This is an interesting hand, uh, a little bit tricky, but we do have the Doom Scar. Uh, we do need some red mana later on, but again, Magma Opus can actually help us get there. So we can discard it uh, using its um, second ability here and create a treasure token, uh, which isn't exactly what we want to do, of course, but uh, it is a possibility. So something to keep in mind here. I think for now, though, we're obviously just going to go ahead and uh, throw that Doom Scar in the Fertel zone uh, and hope for the best. Um, guys, I want to thank you all for the support as I have been kind of away for a little while doing uh, conference stuff for work. And then, like I said, I'll be heading out uh, as this video goes up. I'll be heading out the next day uh, to go on my little honeymoon trip with uh, with my wife 
and I'm so excited about it. Um, we are really excited to get away for a little bit. It's much needed. We haven't really been able to for quite some time. Wow, nice. So we don't even have to do that. Um, let's see. I mean, I think we just end up exiling this now. We want to do it now before... Uh, yeah, before they can get another land. We don't actually have to exile anything either. Um, all right, cool. Let's do that. Um, but yeah, so this is a much needed vacation for us. We, as most of you guys know, got married in October. Uh, and we did take a very small kind of short honeymoon, but she's a teacher. I also had a conference like the next week. And therefore, we really didn't get the opportunity to take the full on honeymoon that we were hoping for. We only got away for a few days. So uh, as much fun as that was and as, as special as that was, because that was right after the wedding. Uh, this is certainly an opportunity for us to, to take advantage of her spring break and get a little bit of out of town time uh, safely. <laughs> uh, so we're really excited about that. And um, again, it's going to be an absolute blast. We, we uh, are going down to the Florida Keys. Uh, which is really cool. Uh, never been there before. So this is going to be a new experience for us. Um, do we just throw out the Hinata? I think we do because they are kind of stuck on mana. So I think we need to pressure the board as much as we can uh, and hope for the best here. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited. It's going to be an absolute blast. Uh, and it's going to be great to, to get that done. So. All right, opponent just milling away over here. Um, good news is, I mean, eventually we could just kill this. Uh, we don't want to keep, you know, getting milled. <laughs> that would be bad. Uh, and so we do need to do something about that at some point, but we'll see what we can do. We're going to go ahead and foretell a card, huh? Okay. So let's do this. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Um... So let's just make sure. So we have five mana, so that needs three targets. Tap two permanents and deals four. So yeah, we can just play this. So we target you and you for the damage. We target you and you. Uh, let's do three and one. Submit. Auto pay. So this is the, the power level of the deck is that uh, because we have Hinata out, that Magma Opus gets significantly cheaper uh, and we're able to draw some cards, we're able to deal some damage and just have, you know, a pretty substantial threat on the field at this point. And while yes, we are in kind of a precarious position because obviously they could maybe have a burn down the house and sweep the board at some point, they're pretty stuck on mana. <laughs> uh, and so... I don't feel super threatened at the moment. Um, they obviously get their mana this turn, and they have another Ruin Crab, my goodness. Um, but this should be enough of a clock that it's going to be a bit dangerous for them to really be able to do too much. So we'll, I mean, we'll obviously see. They could have like a Demon Bolt here and uh, just kind of, I think it's Demon Bolt, the one that you can foretell the burn stuff. Um, but we'll see. Okay, uh, that's not bad. Uh, uh, a four mana uh, memory deluge is not a bad card at all. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get an attack in and see what they do. Wow, they do block. Okay. Cool. Um, that's super helpful. Uh, so we can actually throw out the Celestis and then have the availability of either the Wandering Emperor or the memory deluge. So I think we just do that and pass. Um, pretty straightforward turn. We're just in the damage race at this point. We've been able to kind of deal with all their Ruin Crabs uh, efficiently. We've we've been milled a decent amount, but it's not been enough to like terribly worry about uh, a Hideous Laughter or something like that. I mean, certainly not a great card for us to deal with, but uh, it is a possibility. Ooh, okay. We might be able to get them here a little bit. So we let two hit. <laughs> All right, so watch this. <laughs> uh, so we do this. And it doesn't die. <laughs> uh, I feel a little bad about that, but that was really good. Um, All right, so let's attack in. Um, Got him down to one. <laughs> that felt really bad on the opponent's side, I'm sure. They... 
100% just wasted two cards, which is pretty killer. Um, yeah, I will take the action. Uh, and yeah, I'll throw down a, a Sundown Pass. We don't really need any more land. I mean, land's great, but like I'd rather have action spells just in case. They could have a burn down the house. Look at that. Who guessed it? Um, so I think we Memory Deluge. Um, hmm. I think we just take these two. Uh, yeah. So this is why we kept stuff, by the way. Um, okay. Really annoying for sure, but uh, again, not the end of the world. So we just do this. Uh, I didn't count my mana. I'm assuming I have enough. Yeah. All right, cool. We just win. That was awesome. Uh, that was a super well-played game, in my opinion. The opponent really got stuck on lands, which was, I mean, unfortunate, but I'm not going to complain. We definitely got the win. Let's move into a game two, guys. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, and how do we feel about this hand? I think we can definitely keep it. Uh, it's a little bit tricksy, but we, I think, can do this. Um, we'll lead on the uh, the deserted beach here. Obviously not untapped, but that's not the end of the world. Ah, okay. This is going to be a very frustrating game. Um, okay. Uh, so with that in mind, what do we need to do? We do need the second white source active. So I am going to go ahead and play that. Go ahead and foretell that Doomstar. That's going to protect it. This is a discard heavy deck. We have been up against this deck a number of times. It's a very annoying one. And so for me, having this Doomscar active is certainly a great option. Um, and again, I think we are in the position of we just leave everything up here. Um, we might need to discard that Magma Opus, but we'll see. Uh, regardless, we've got Dwari Disruption plus Test of Talents. This Test of Talents could be really, really good, depending on how things go here. So they are going to transform this. Uh, let's make sure we understand. It reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from it. Okay. So with that in mind, I am going to go ahead and discard this to get that treasure token. This just guarantees us the, the smoothest mana uh, in, in the next few turns here. And I think that's more important than anything else. I assume they take Test of Talents. Uh, that might be wrong. I really don't know. Um, Memory Deluge is a double up so i feel like that's not a great play uh jwari disruption is fine but it's a, mostly just a land at this point um but hey they took it okay fine fair enough uh interesting all right so we really don't need extra red sources here um so what is the play uh, do we just kill this now or do we let it hit us a little bit more? Uh, we do have the memory deluge that we can play at instant speed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little greedy here. If they've got extra, extra creatures, I'm kind of intent on seeing what they happen to be. And it may be nothing. I have no idea, but we're going to take the three. Um, I kind of want them to play into the doom scar. Looks like they're not going to. So we'll go ahead and Memory Deluge here. That's, again, the nice thing about this deck is you're never really without a play unless you're top decking. Uh, and so it doesn't really matter that much. Um, I mean, both of these are really good. So I think I take this. Um, so does this count as a zero mana spell? Wait, what? Uh, with mana value X. Does it have to be one? Okay. Let's see what happens. Uh, again, kind of glad we've left up the Doom Scar because a nice little one for one there is actually pretty great. <laughs> uh, and again, we still have the Test of Talents up. So if they happen to have an instant or sorcery like a Go Blank, uh, we can just Test of Talents that. Wow. Wow, okay, uh, interesting. Very cool. Now is when I really wish we had Hinata because we could Magma Opus this stuff away. <laughs> um, interesting. I mean, I guess we'll play second red. We really don't need it. Um, 
one two three four five six so we're still two mana away here um we could memory deluge alternatively we can just doom scar leaving up test of talents that puts back up to three on Lolth. so they can make the decision either to kill it or to just draw a card i think we do kind of have to make that choice um as sad as this is i think this is just the right call uh eventually we die <laughs> uh to Lolth. What we can do is, depending on what they decide to do here, we can burn one of the Magma Opuses just to give us that extra treasure token, and then any land drop off the top is essentially a live draw, uh, unless it's a Jwari Disruption, and in, in which case, that's pretty terrible. Um, but we'll see what we can do. The alternative plan was basically to just leave out Memory Deluge, I think. Uh, uh, there's not really a great option there, uh, and so I feel like that was probably just the only thing we could do. Uh, let's go ahead and discard a Magma Opus here. Um, we're in their end step, so I doubt there's any instant speed, like, major discard options, so. Ugh. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're still one away. We just have to pass. Uh, I mean, nothing else we can do. We could memory deluge main phase but that doesn't seem like a great plan uh in my opinion i'd much rather leave some stuff up here interesting um all right so here we need to memory deluge uh -uh. so we can't just counter that uh and get our land but we're gonna be behind then that's the trick with this memory deluge we're behind on blue mana uh which is kind of the problem so with that in mind, is it better to do something else? Might be better to get the Planeswalker going. No, I think it's land. Uh, so we can negate this Professor Onyx, which is essentially a time walk. They did nothing this turn except for draw a card, uh, which is good, but... And I assume they draw two cards, but... Wow, they're going to kill the lol. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I'm cool with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. I mean, again, <laughs> there's not much we can do. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, I am kind of glad we picked the land, though, to be honest. We kind of needed it. Um, so they're going to get in for a pretty big attack here. And there's, like, nothing we can do about it. So I think we memory deluge from the graveyard. I guess we could have done that now, but I think it's better to wait until we know they don't have anything. So we're going to take one of the memory deluges. That's fine. We're going to do this at end step is the plan. Uh, because again, if they do have something on their second main phase, I'd much rather be able to play around that. So let's go ahead and memory deluge now. Especially now that they're activating that hive. That's not something we want to deal with. So what do we need? Oh, Jwari Disruption. Okay, cool. You got it. Wow, we are just drawing really terribly right now. Um, I mean, we literally, like, have to do this. This is bad. Hey, look, it's all of our blue lands. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, we found them, but I think it's going to be a little too late here. Uh, let's see, two, four, five, six, seven. So they just win. We were just so stuck on mana. That's really unfortunate. That's super, super unfortunate. Uh, I mean, there's nothing we can do about that, right? Like, this is just the way the games go sometimes. But I will let them kill us here. Fair enough. You know what? They got us. Game two, a bust. Uh, really hate that because, again, we were relatively close. I guess for the safety of Dwari Disruption, we could have used the Memory Deluge in our hand. Um... But I really was thinking that was the better bet. So, you know what? You live and you learn. It's all good. Let's jump into one game three. One more game here. Let's see if we can do it. All right, guys. Here we are for game number three. Uh, an interesting hand, for sure. Uh, Valorous stands pretty dead for the most part until later in the game. However, the Doom Scar is worth keeping, in my opinion. And the Magma Opus we can discard. So, I will see. I'm not super sold on it, but we're going to try it. Hinata is not a bad draw. We can play that uh, pretty quickly here. So that's pretty good. Cool. Uh, yeah, pretty glad I kept what I kept then. So just go ahead and throw this out. 
We're going to get the second white source off of the Sundown Pass, so it really doesn't matter how we play these lands at this point. There's the Hollowed Haunting, sure. And they get in for two. Okay. Um, I think we just drop this and pass. I'm not going to Doomscar just the Jakari Naturalist. Or Jakai Naturalist. Excuse me. Um, okay. Great card. I really want them to fill out the, the board here as much as they can. Yep. 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 And they're certainly doing that. Uh, all right. Cool. This is the runes deck, which is a very, very good deck. Um, cool. Uh, do we want to use the Magma Opus now? I think no, because we do have the Hinata. Uh, we really need more blue sources. Why is this a constant issue? <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and Doomscar. Um, not necessarily perfect because they're just getting this back. Uh, and so that's not exactly ideal, but it does slow them down quite a bit here. Sure. Uh, and worth noting, the Valorous Stance is a very live card against this Kami of Transients because eventually we can just kill that one for one and there's not much we can they can do about that, excuse me. Uh, I think we do play the Hinata and the Sundown Pass. Um, this actually allows us to Valorous Stance, which is kind of cool. Uh, so if they play anything to power this up, wow! So we're going to have to do this now. Uh, if we don't, then that thing can just get an attack in, and we're not going to be able to target it with the Hinata because it's not on the battlefield. So, um, fair enough. You got it. Look, a blue source. <laughs> uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, we just pass. Uh, we do have Memory Deluge up, which could be really helpful for us. Um, these guys are getting a little scary. Okay, this could be really nice. So, let's see what they target with this. Really? Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and memory deluge. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like negate's not a bad card, but they're kind of burnt out at this point. I think we just need the memory deluge. All right. Taking hits, man. Taking hits. This is probably not going to go in our favor. <laughs> uh, that's just the reality of it, but that's fine. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I don't think there's much we can do here. So we can play this, gaining two, going up to seven and killing one of these guys, but that's not that great. Alternatively, we can do this, but we're not going to be able to get to where we need to in terms of playing like a Doomscar. Doomscar would be our, our savior right now, but that's not going to happen. Uh, so I think the best thing we can do is just to exile one of these guys and gain some life. Um, and then we're dead next turn. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, good game. They definitely just have us here. I'm going to go ahead and concede, guys. We're going to have a couple of ads really quick, and then we are going to jump into the wrap-up. So let's do that now. All right, guys. So first and foremost, again, I want to thank Covert Go Blue for sharing this list. I really do appreciate it. Guys, this is an interesting one. Uh, the the Hinata decks, in, in my play patterns at least, have been hit or miss. Um, certainly are very powerful. The ceiling is extraordinarily high with Hinata. I think that's a very clear, easy statement. Anybody could make that statement. Um, however, the play patterns are a little bit tricky. Uh, and in this case, we weirdly had a lot of blue mana issues, which I really did not expect. In practice, that was not the case at all. Uh, and so for me, that was a bit of an oddball kind of scenario. And that happened twice. In both of the games we lost, we were really lacking blue mana. Um, now, it didn't matter quite as much, I think, in the second game, uh, or the, the second game we lost, that last game, um, but I do think it really mattered in the, the second game that we played, the, the first one we lost. I'm mixing that up. You know what I mean. Um, and so, all that to say, uh, I really do like the deck. I think this is a more optimized version of the list, um, a little less focused on the Hinata combo. Uh, certainly still works for the deck and certainly, I mean, even with Valorous Stance we saw in that last game, it really allows for certain plays that we normally don't get to see, but um, 
all that to say, I do think that it's uh, it's just a difficult deck to work against the the naturalist uh, deck, the the runes deck, and things like that. I think it, I think it just doesn't outpace them quite enough, uh, and it doesn't have a board presence until later in the game, and so they're able to just continuously swing in. The hollowed haunting is going to continuously gain them a lot of uh, value. What we could have potentially done is dug for a march of the otherworldly whatever. Uh, and tried to deal with that hollowed haunting, that probably would have been a good option. Uh, but regardless, it is what it is. We we still had a fun time playing this deck. And again, Covert Go Blue, thank you so much for, for sharing this one. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you enjoyed this list. I hope you enjoy your weekend uh, as it's getting started tomorrow. Don't forget, we do have a collection update coming tomorrow. It's going to be a blast. We've even got one next week. I went ahead and got those out of the way because those are going to be really fun, I think. Uh, but thank you guys so much for being supportive of this gameplay, but also that series. I really do appreciate it. Guys, have a great Friday. I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching.